Yesterday we talked about food chains. Now today we're going to dive into that a little bit more and look at food webs. So turn the page. We should be on page 108 today. 108 at the top. A food chain is simple. Energy moves from one living thing to another. Real life is not so simple. Energy often moves in many different ways. It might transfer from one kind of producer to many kinds of consumers. One kind of consumer might be prey for more than one kind of predator. Energy flow in a community forms a web. A food web is made up of more than one food chains. Food webs tie a community together. Each part of a web affects the other parts. So what is a food web? Many food chains put together. The chain, we could talk about energy going from the sun to the grass to the um, deer that eats the grass to the wolf that ate the deer, right? That's goes, it's going to go in a straight line. A web is going to be more intertangled and more mixed together and put in multiple groups um, to show more how real life is going to operate. An example of a food web is found on the Great Plains. Prairie grasses grow there. They are producers. Energy flows from the grasses to the animals that eat them. These animals include prairie dogs and mice. Prey dogs are prey for ferrets and golden eagles. Ferrets are prey for badgers. So energy can flow through the food web from grasses to golden eagles and badgers. Okay, so if we look at this, we've got prairie grasses that are producers. Energy from there is going to the cow that's eating the grass, to the prairie dog, and to the mice. Where do prairie dogs and mice get their energy from? Eating the grasses. What predators get energy from the prairie dogs? Don't worry, this paper will go back under there in a little bit. Prairie dogs, who eats prairie dogs? Well, the energy's going, boom, to these golden eagles and to the ferrets. So ferrets and golden eagles. What would happen to the golden eagles if the grass on the Great Plains died? Well, there wouldn't be as much prey for the golden eagles to eat. How did cattle coming to the Great Plains affect prairie dogs? What do they take? We'll read that in the next section. Pause it there if you're not done writing. A changing food web. If one part of a food web is removed, other parts change. For example, prairie dogs once built large colonies on the grassy plains. Then cattle began to feed on these same plains. This reduced the habitat for prairie dogs. Many prairie dogs also became sick and died. As a result, the number of prairie dogs was reduced. Removing one part of the food web caused a number of things to happen. Cattle had more food, but ferrets had less. With fewer prairie dogs to eat, ferrets no longer had the food that they needed, and the ferrets began to die out. This in turn affected the predators of ferrets, such as badgers. Now badgers had to look for other food. Golden eagles and foxes also hunt prairie dogs. They too had to get more food energy from other kinds of prey, such as mice. All this can happen when one part of a food web is removed. So this one thing, this cow is getting added, completely affected the entire wet. So how did it affect the prairie dogs? It took away some of their habitat. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a peek at our worksheet. 
we're going to need to match things with prey, consumer, omnivore, predator, producer, herbivore, or carnivore. Make sure you get any of the top. A living thing that makes food. What makes food? That was a producer, right? A producer produces food or makes food. Living things that eats food, it consumes food. That would be a consumer, right? Consume means to eat. A consumer that eats only plants. Only plants, what do we call that? Prey, omnivore, predator, herbivore, or carnivore. A consumer that eats only animals. Prey, omnivore, predator, herbivore, or carnivore. Five, a consumer that eats both. Remember, we called an omnivore. Omnivore eats both. Six, any animal that is hunted by others for food. And then seven, a consumer that hunts for food. If it hunts, it's a predator. And if it's hunted, that's the prey. Food chains and food webs show how water or energy moves between living things. Remember, food chains and food webs, the whole point is showing how the energy moves. And then at the bottom, in one food chain, ferrets eat prairie dogs. If each ferret eats four prairie dogs each month, how many prairie dogs would be eaten by 11 ferrets in one month? Show your work. Ferret eats four prairie dogs. 11 ferrets, if they're each gonna eat four prairie dogs, that would be 44. So 44 prairie dogs. Excellent. Make sure that makes it back in your Thursday folder.